Hey guys, Joel here, back to the word today with another two minute book review. Remember to like and subscribe for content like this. Also, if you have a question, a book recommendation, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Today's book is The Pastor, a memoir by Eugene Peterson. It took me a little while to get through this, but I wanted to share it with all of you. Just a treasure of a book that's been so good for me. I want to share it with you guys in two minutes and then maybe reflect a little bit more after that. So with that, let's start the clock and get going. So first up, who is this for? This is an excellent book for pastors. Be at any stage in the game. You've been pastoring for a while. You're just starting to pastor. You're going through seminary or God's calling you to be a pastor. This is an excellent book for you to pick up. Two, who wrote it? It was written by Eugene H. Peterson. He is, um, grew up in Montana, then got called to be a pastor. And um, God gave him that call. And so he became a pastor in the Presbyterian Church and uh, served for many years in Bel Air, Maryland. And then he was a um, writer in residence after he retired from that church at Regent College in, College in British Columbia. Excellent guy known as a pastor for pastors. He's written over 30 books. Excellent, excellent author. Three, what stands out? What stands out about this book and why I loved it so much is it's like sitting down with your grandfather and listening to stories. And these are stories that you leave learning lessons about God, about life, and about the pastoral vocation. This is about how God shaped a man into a pastor. And it's beautiful. Um, there's themes here at the beginning of the book. I wrote down major ones about the pastoral imagination, about congregation versus a crowd about long obedience in the same direction. Eugene is big on spiritual theology, and by that he means not just being spiritual, but lived theology. Not just knowing up here, but living out our life. There's obviously lessons about being pastor, about putting the language of the Bible into the language of your people, and just so many other good lessons that I learned from this book. I'd encourage you to pick it up if you're a pastor. Time. There we go. So that's all we have for the two minute review. I would just say one passage that stood out for me and I wanted to read here briefly. Um, Eugene Peterson is kind of known as a pastor to pastors because he's a breath of fresh air. He's not a contributor. He even talks in this book about um, fighting his own desire of achievement and going fast. He's about long obedience in the same direction about moving forward even in the seasons where it seems like a desert or a wasteland. And he's just got excellent reflections on what it is to be a pastor, not to see your people as obstacles, but to shepherd them as the flock of God, to be with them, to grow with them, and to have a relationship with God. So he says this on page 292. It's one of the last lessons I learned from one of these chapters. It says, I had never articulated it just this way before. You are at your pastoral best when you are not noticed. He goes on to say, to keep this vocation healthy requires constant stealth negation, getting out of the way. He says, for pastors, being noticed easily develops into wanting to be noticed. He said that statement after answering some questions about what were some of the greatest moments he thought um, he looked forward to as a pastor. And he said, baptism and then the Lord's Supper. Because the focus is not on the pastor. You would expect someone to say preaching. And so preaching and teaching are core to what Eugene did and core to what we believe. But I just thought that was so cool. He says you're at your best when you are not noticed. So I think this is an excellent book. There's, um, there's a quote on the back. It says a burning bush of a book. And on the front it says to a church that needs true pastors, a subtle manifesto of hope for our time from Christianity today. So I'm telling you, if you're a pastor at any stage in the game, you want refreshment for your soul, someone to sit there and say, I'm with you, I know what it's like, and I want to encourage you to be a pastor, to pastor people for God, not for some of the things America and the and the church of today and just going out and, you know, filling with a, cra a crowd, but having a community of faith, 
It's an excellent book for you. Cannot recommend it enough. I'm looking forward to you reading more from him in the near future in my own life. And I'd encourage you to pick up this book and read it today.